What's up, guys? Welcome to the first ever episode of Last Cast Fishing Crew, hashtag LCFC, hashtag Back the Blue. Folks, I recently retired and I am not trying to go back to work. I'll repeat that. I am not trying to go back to work. So help this old guy from going back to work. Hit that subscribe button. Hit it, hit it, hit it. It's free. It's free. It's free. This is going to be a fishing channel. We're going to be fishing with my crewmates, which are going to be my friends and my family. And you guys who are going to be my crew members going along with me and my crewmates on these fishing expeditions. Crew members, we're going to be hitting some local trout streams. We're going to be hitting the James River, the New River. We're going to be hitting the Outer Banks. We'll be hitting Florida. We're going to target lots of different types of fish on these fishing expeditions. We will be doing water reviews. We'll be doing trophy trout stream reviews. We will be doing catch and cooks. That's where you'll probably see my wife not cooking, but eating my food. My wife asked me, how did you come up with the name LCFC Last Cast Fishing Crew? I got on YouTube, started searching the name. I saw lots of Last Cast channels. I saw lots of cat Last Cast Fishing, but I didn't see any Last Cast Fishing Crew. So that's how I came up with the name. And more importantly, every time, I mean every time that I go fishing, and I'm sure you guys too, when you throw it and you say last cast, you crank it back in and you throw it again and you say, this is gonna be the last cast. And then you throw it again. Then you say, mm, this is gonna be my last cast. It's hard to say folks. And I always say it, I say it out loud, I say it to myself. It's hard to say last cast because you don't want it to end. So folks, that's how I came up with the name Last Cast Fishing Crew. Last Cast, Last Cast, Last Cast. Guys, in this first episode, we're going to talk about a thief, a criminal, a crook, a toad, a dirtbag, a stealing no good for nothing, you know what. Folks, me and my wife recently moved from Christianburg to Troutville. I remember like it was yesterday. We came to look at the house we currently live in. We were driving up the road and I looked to my left and what do I see? I see a pond. At that moment, I knew this was the place for me. I did not care what the house looked like inside or out. I knew I had a pond and that I could put fish in it and go fish anytime I wanted to. So what's this guy do? He goes by $300 worth of trout $300 worth of bass, catfish, sunfish, bluegills, and five pounds of minnows. I've got it stocked and I'm ready. Head down to the pond a couple days later. Best time ever, folks. Just slaying the fish, slaying them. Go back a couple of days later. Did really good. Not quite as good as the first time. Came back a couple of days later. Did okay started getting a little concerned, came back a few days later, didn't do very good at all. Came back one more time, this old guy didn't catch any fish. Old heart got, got the fluttering, started to tear up just a little bit because shortly after I threw that last cast, I looked to my left, what do I see? A trout head laying on the bank. Folks, something has been eating all of my fish. What could it be? Whatever it is, it's got to go. So what do I do? I go buy a trail camera. That's another hundred bucks. So now I'm down about 700 bucks. Hook it up, got it running. What do I see? Lots of deer, raccoons, possums, fox, coyotes, you name it. I knew none of those guys were getting my fish. Then I see a muskrat. Yeah, he was pretty small. There's no way he was getting those big trout that I put in my pond. And then finally, I saw it. An otter, folks. 
Mm, about three foot long. Run down to the pond just to visually verify it is an otter. And what do I see? An otter. An otter. I've got a big fountain out in my pond and the otter was just hanging out on the fountain, looking at me, laughing, saying thanks for all the food. Thanks for the $700 you spent. At that moment, I knew the otter had to go. I knew it. I was not happy. Crew members, I feel like I'm in the movie Caddyshack, Tim versus the Otter. And I hope I win. And I hope I win soon. So what do I do? I start doing some research about otters. I Google otters, river otters, Virginia otters. Guess what, folks? There's lots of otters in Virginia, if you didn't know. And guess what they like to eat? Fish. Guess what they specifically like to eat? Trout. My trout. They will come in and clean your pond out. Clean it out. Folks, since the night the otter came, I've not seen them since. Not even a sign. But why should he come back? He ate all my fish. There's no reason. Not good. Not good. Crew members, if this has ever happened to you, or if you've ever had an experience with an otter, or have heard stories about experiences with an otter. Because honestly, I don't know what you can or cannot do. Can you trap it? I don't know. Can you kill it? I don't really want to kill the guy. I'd like to trap him and relocate him. I did a little research and I'm not 100% sure. I think if it's a nuisance on your property, you can kill it. But I don't really want to do that. I'm going to reach out to a local conservation officer and make sure I make the right choice and right decision so I don't get in trouble. Crew members, this is your first ever rookie tip of the day. If you're heading out to the stream to go trout fishing, hitting the river or hitting a pond, make sure you go stop at Dick's or Walmart and buy you some polarized fishing glasses. 10, 15, 20 bucks. I guarantee you it will make you a better fisherman. Don't go buy a hundred dollars or a $75 pair. You're going to lose them. You're going to break them. You can spend 15, 20 bucks, get you a nice pair of Field and Stream, Berkeley, Ozark, all good brands. That's my rookie tip of the day, folks. I couldn't tell you how many times I've been trout fishing with a group of people walking the bank and I say, stop. And they're like, why? I'm like, look. And they're like, what? I hand them my glasses and they're like, wow. Guys, I guarantee you, it's going to help you catch more fish and have more fun. Last Cast Fishing Crew, we're out. Crew members, if you like this video, hit that like button. Shoot me a comment. Most importantly, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It's free. It's free. It's free. Help this old guy from going back to work. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned in an upcoming episode. I will be hitting my neighbor's big pond, which has fish in it, I think. And let's see what LCFC can make happen. Folks, hashtag LCFC, last cast fishing crew, hashtag back to blue. I'm going to say it one more time, hashtag back to blue. Let's go.